Okay, so next let's look at uh, a few trick questions to do with sectors uh, and triangles. So here we go. Uh, we've been given uh, given a triangle here. We want to find the shaded shaded region. Well, let's first off uh, fill in that there. That must be eight as well. And we know that this is fifty nine. Um, I can just do this in two ways. Let's find the area of the sector. Now the area of the sector, I'm going to use the formula theta over 360 times by, now I'm in degrees, so I'm going to use pi r squared. So the area of this whole sector here is going to be, it's going to be 59 out of 360 times by pi times 8 squared. And so that is going to give me, uh, if I work that out, uh, 32.95 so that's the area of the sector I can then work out the area of the triangle the area of the triangle formula I'm going to use half a b sine c in this case a and b are both 8 so it's going to be a half times 8 times 8 times sine 59 uh, which will give me uh, 27.43 uh, and then all, all I need to do now is do the area of this sector so 32.95 take away 27.43 and that will be the, the bit that's left over the, the shaded bit which is 5.52 and we're in centimeters so centimeters squared Okay, next question. Um, a little bit more difficult. Let's try and okay. So if we do some kind of rough drawing, we're going to end up looking something like that, um, where this is going to be. This is going to be a right angle here. Um, we know that the center is uh, the radius of this one is seven, and if we know that this distance from A to B is nine, this distance here is going to be four point five. And let's well that we want this whole distance here. Let's label that as theta one, and by symmetry that's also going to be theta one. So let's work out what theta 1 equals is first. Um, well, we've got uh, Sokotoa, so we've got sine theta 1 equals opposite over hypotenuse, so 4.5 over 7. And therefore, I've got theta 1 um, equals, well, it's around about 40 point something. And therefore, two lots of theta one. So that's that whole angle here. Two lots of theta one is going to be um, eighty point zero one zero. Okay, so I've worked out what the this angle here is. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to find out this here. Let's label that as beta one. That as beta one as well. Um, this time here, this is going to be five. So I've got sine of beta 1 equals 4.5 over 5. Um, and then I work out what beta 1 is. I times the answer by 2. So I'm going to end up with 2 beta 1s is equal to 128.31. Okay, so I've got not my first part, first part done. Um, and let's kind of come back to this again now. So I've now know that this here is 80 point whatever it was degrees. Um, and I know that this is 7 and this is 7 here. Um, I can work out this 
this shaded bit here by doing the same method in that last question. So if I basically do the area of the entire uh, sector, take away the area of the triangle, the bit that will be left will be the shaded region. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to end up with um, area of the sector and the area of the sector I'm going to use um, theta over 360 times pi r squared and so the area of the sector is going to be 80 over 360 times by pi times 7 squared and equally I've got the area of the triangle now the area of the triangle is going to be half a b sine c which is going to be half times 7 times 7 times sine of 80 point whatever it was um, and then therefore this shaded region here is going to be the area of the sector take away the area of the triangle and if I do that this uh, shaded area and let's call it shaded area number one uh, is going to equal uh, 10.08 okay so there we go I've, I've worked out this this first shaded area here um, I'm now going to do exactly the same but kind of the other way around so if I work out we've got this triangle here I can find this shaded area by doing the same thing so so this time I'm going to have the same as before now shaded area 2 is going to be area of the sector minus the area of the triangle area of the sector well this time the angle beta that I found before is 128.31 so I've got 128.31 over 360 times by pi times 5 squared take away half times 5 times 5 times sine 128.31 and if I work out this, this shaded area here is going to be 18.18 and this is shaded area number 2 therefore the total shaded area so the total area is going to be equal to 18.18 plus 10.08 which is equal to 28.3 and that's centimeters squared okay and then the last question um, here we go we've got uh, outer circle with a radius of r so this this distance from here to the center is r the inner circle has a radius of uh, little r and I want to find uh, a ratio between these two radius and I've been given uh, a ratio between um, the areas a and b okay well let's see how would I do this well I can find the I can find the area of a and now the area of a is going to be theta over 2 r squared take away 
theta over 2 r squared. Um, for this I'm actually using the formula uh, in terms of radians for the area of a sector. Remember the area of a sector is equal to a half r squared theta, isn't it? Um, so for the area of A, I'm basically working out the area of this whole sector here, taking away the area of this sector here. Okay, so that's the area of A. Um, I can find the area of B, which is just putting straight into this formula here. So the area of B is actually um, theta over 2 r squared. Okay, just putting it into that formula there. Um, the next thing to do is to use this ratio here. It's basically saying that uh, A is twice as big as B. Okay, so A is twice as big as B. Um, okay, so, so therefore I can rewrite that as um, well, if I factorize this one, so I've got r squared minus r squared. This is the area of A. And this is the same as two lots of the area of B. Okay, because as I said before, the ratio is saying that this A is twice as big as the area of B. Okay, so to make it equal, we, we times the other side by two. Um, and once we've got that, we can just rearrange uh, can rearrange this. We will end up with uh, r squared minus r squared is equal to 2r squared. If we, and then that will give us r squared equals 3r squared. Therefore, r is equal to root 3r. And therefore, the very last step we wanted to do is therefore give the ratio. Also, therefore, the ratio of r to r is going to be root 3 to 1. Okay, because if r is 1, then big R is going to be root 3. Okay, so that's my final ratio.